Bait and Hook. Understanding probabilities and tendencies that offensive players have in a given situation allow elite goaltenders to make tough saves routinely. Developed through years of observation and through the hard lessons of goals against, this knowledge becomes basically subconscious. Goalies actually instinctively make intelligent anticipation decisions automatically when they get to the higher levels. Shooters as well automatically respond to a given situation instinctively. Goaltenders learn that shooters under pressure do many predictable things. For instance, on a quick turnover in the crowded slot, a player will almost certainly get rid of the puck as fast as possible with accuracy being a secondary consideration. Understanding this, a goaltender will use some sort of blocking save with good depth as soon as they recognize this situation instinctively. With all of this as a backdrop, we can now get into the art of baiting and hooking. In other words, proactively and with stealth, forcing a player to shoot into an area you want. Shooters cannot resist responding instinctively to a given situation when time is a major factor. When in alone, with heavy backside pressure, an elite shooter will make a quick goaltender observation and an instantaneous somewhat subconscious decision on their offensive attack. Typically, this will be one or two of the so-called go-to moves or shots. In this situation, if a goaltender subtly presented a little more net to shoot at glove side high, the shooter would most certainly attempt a shot here. Bait and Hook Options The Lazy Low Glove By slightly lowering your glove or pulling it into your body, a little space opens up, and that will be hard to resist. Five Hole Slightly widen your stance and show a nice five hole. Once the release is triggered, drive the knees down, sealing the hole. Angle Shift By purposely moving offline, we can create openings shooters will find hard to resist. Tips for Success You must not overuse this strategy, and it must not be obvious to the shooter or you'll look foolish. The size or area of the opening you must give must be smaller, the better the player. Play to your strengths. If you've got an amazing trapper, use that as your go-to strategy when the time comes.